Okay, so the third part of this, where, okay, so I don't even remember the episode numbers we were on, but it was, I don't know, like it was like, we need to recruit 10 guys episode, then the, hey, Kudadin, in 18, you want to come join our team? And then the, hey, Majin Buu, you're really ripped now episode. Those are the episodes, those are, those are totally the titles. Um, but yeah, um, they were alright, again. Um... It's one of those things where it's like, this, the series is just kind of coasting by now on neutral. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not going for anything great. It's it's not really, like, sinking into horrible bullshit. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, honestly, that's something that actually bugged me. Because him, because, like, and I've seen people bitch about this. I've seen people defend this. And, like, because it seems to be, like, this thing that happens in this recruitment episode from, like, gatherers. Go, uh, Goku going into his blue form, and people just still somehow holding their own, even though like Goku had passed them leagues ago, like his base form had passed them leagues ago, and then he had, you know, like you know, Super Saiyan One, Super Saiyan Two, Super Saiyan Three, uh, God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, like you know, like he just kept tacking on all these other transformations, and now he's, you know. Now he's like fighting in his max form, and Kunin's actually like pushing him back. I'm like, bullshit, bullshit. Su Super Saiyan Blue is mostly God Key, so that's like eighty percent of his output. That's just not even really doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's just it's so yeah, like yeah, it's it's just like one of those weird things where it's just. Are you trying to tell me that you don't think nailing Android 18 increases your power level? <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he did kind of puss out against some Frieza soldiers. You didn't see that arc. Couldn't have had a full PTSD fucking, oh my god, I'm gonna die moment. Well, I mean, that was the last time he died. <laughs> With some with some Frieza shit. No, no, Boo. He died. Oh, well, that doesn't count. Everybody died in the Boo saga. Gosh. Mr. Satan and Baba didn't. <laughs> That's the two. Uh, actually, I don't even know if Baba su survived that one. Mm. Uh, and, and Dende. Well, then again, Dende died before, too. Every, everyone's fucking died in Dragon Ball. But yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, that that just like that that whole fucking power scale. Cause like I don't, I don't really care about power scaling in the sense of like, like you know, oh man, like how strong is this guy? And how like you know, they're like, like trying to calculate the math and shit. Like you know, there's a whole fucking community for that shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that 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 part of it. But I care about like like universal consistency. Like you know, like I don't. Like, give me a reason to believe that Kudadin has gotten to the point. Because, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, he's slacked off for, like, the last eight years. Uh, but now I guess he's been power-fucking-18 for, like, the last six months. Hey, man, he bought, he, he bought some gym equipment. Oh, he, man, his gym he's, equipment. He's been lifting weights. <laughs> Got that P90X, bro! <laughs> Maybe he ate TN. But the, he's still alive. He's going to be in this tournament later. It's Chiaotzu in a mech. You watch. The clues are in there. Man. Okay, one, I don't think eating another person makes you stronger. Two. Have you been watching the same show as I <laughs> <laughs> Works for the Namekians. Works for Boo. <laughs> Pretty sure it works for Goku. That's why nobody lived around Gohan's hut in those woods. Oh, man. I mean, maybe if he actually had the chance to eat tambourine, he would have been able to take Piccolo on that first <laughs> run. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, it's just... God, the fucking metal image of, of Chao Tzu <laughs> fucking rolling around in attention on Mech. <laughs> Chao Tzu be like, don't on Ray! I mean, dry, dry beam. Fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, uh... Uh, Tetsuya does the, the does the Dodon. No, does it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's both because it's because it's originally um, Tao Pai Pai's move or like the Sue Settings move, and they taught it to both of them. Right. But yeah, uh, just 
Like, like I, I just need reasons to believe that these characters are on these levels. Especially because, like, you know, we can go back to, like, you know, Battle of Gods and all this other stuff, where everyone's just getting raffled stuff. We even had that whole moment of, like, like, could have been having his midlife crisis. I forgot when it was, but he's just like, Goku, hit me. Just, just hit me, like, right fucking here. And Goku, in his face form, just decks the shit out of him. And he's, ah! mm-hmm. Like, this goes halfway across the planet before Goku had to stop his ass. Well, look, man. Goku got hurt by a bullet. He's getting rusty. <laughs> I hate you and I hate the show. I just love Krillin too much to care. <laughs> I, I will take what I can fucking get. Oh, man. Yeah, just, I mean, that, that, that aside, um, we did get a lot of really cute moments with him. Like, you know, him and, him and 18, I do love when, like, fucking 18, like, just kicks the fucking Kamehameha right out of Goku's hands. It's just like, it's a battle royale. <laughs> hey. No. <laughs> right? Like, this is a tournament with rules, and it's a battle royale. Let's see how you do with two people. And, like, that was a good moment. And then Goku being like, fuck, you're right. I actually have to think in this. I can't just brute force, like, wait. So, that was a good scene. I love I fucking... Goku's had to fight multiple people since the Red Ribbon Army. But those... Well, well, I mean, like, people... there was the one time he had to fight two Ginyus at once. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Goku really has been doing the whole, yeah, one-on-one thing. Like, even when there's, like, multiple villains... Yeah, he's the top of the deck. You know, it's always like, okay, um, old man, you stand there, I'm gonna fight fat white robot, and then, you know, then you and I can punch face, and, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's always been, they always fucking break it down to, like, a tournament-style thing for... No goddamn reason other than the fact Shonen. Yeah. Remember, Shonen, don't tell. Yeah. Um, I did love seeing Kunin as a cop running around doing his cop thing. Mm-hmm. Just kind of being the great Saiyan man, but as a cop. <laughs> it was just great shit. It's so good. Like, I love seeing, like, these characters interacting with, like, the normal people, like, using their abilities to, like, help people, and, ah, oh, it's, it's so nice. It's, it's really nice to see them actually using their powers for good and not just universe-shaking, uh, fucking events. Uh, that was nice. Uh, oh, and we totally kind of skipped over the, the first episode of this, where it's just like, you know, the we-need-to-gather guys thing, and Kaioshin brings up, like, because Gohan's like, how many plants do we have with mortal life on them? Uh, well, uh, we lost Planet Sadala, uh, Vegeta, and uh, Namek, so we're down to, I think it's at 28, and I'm like, bullshit! <laughs> like, there's only 28 plants. I like how, like, he specifically only names, like, the three planets that we, the viewers, actually know. Because, like, saying that Namek was destroyed is fucking irrelevant because there's new Namek! All of the fucking people from that planet are still alive on another planet. They had a casually, a casual... Casualty? Uh, casualty, they, thank you. They had, they had a casualty rate of two people. Nail, who is just part of another guy now. So his life force is still here. And the fucking Grand Elder. And he just died of old age. You know, just... So yeah, um, like I thought it was just really fucking dumb that they mentioned those because like he doesn't even bring up like because at no point does he go yeah you know Majin Buu killed a shit ton of people <coughs> fucking Beerus. Frieza Frieza wiped out <laughs> multiple fucking planets worth of people who the fuck was he selling these things to there's only twenty eight planets because you have to think like out of those twenty eight planets like at least like ten of them were ruled by him mm-hmm. it was just his soldiers and then you have like Earth and Namek. Who the fuck else was he selling to? The Tyranids? Is that is that like something for like the Mystic Knights of Tyrannog? I have, oh god damn it! I have I have no fear. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah, but totally. That's absolutely. Yes. I I made a reference to the Mystic Knights <laughs> of Tyrannog because inside inside my body, it's not organs. It's just garbage. <laughs> 
You watched all of Aramanga Sensei, so yeah, you just add it to the heap. First of all, <laughs> there's nothing you can do to me that I have not already done to myself. You can't hurt me after that. <laughs> uh, Kyle, I think <laughs> you really need to stop hurting yourself. Like, I, like life's worth living. No, man. <laughs> not since the computers started writing the shit anime. <laughs> the, the shitty anime algorithm. Uh, but yeah, uh... Yeah, this is the fact that like, the whole 28 planets thing was like the one thing that was just... Uh, like, I really hate when Dragon Ball... Because like, one of the things that, that really bugs me about Super is... Uh, among all the other things that bother me about Super, is whenever I feel like they're trying to expand on the lore, they make it feel more narrow and more like like the universe isn't as big and grand as we think. It's just like, like oh yeah, we're going to ex expand on and here it is. It's like, really? That's that's all we got? You know? And they're like, yeah, don't even bother looking at those other 28 planets. Who gives a shit? It's like, <laughs> it's really weird to think that like all these other universes are just brimming with like these top tier fighters. And we're, like, sitting there, like, scratching the bottom of the surface, like, okay, we got the moon Ten Roshi here, guys. He's gonna, he's gonna really do some awesome shit. Right? Like, where's, where's the rest of Frieza's race? Yeah. Where's, like, you know, we, fucking Frieza had, like, cultivated, like, the fucking Ginyu Force. And it's really weird to think that, like, you know, you, you had, like, Frieza who was, like, the top tier in terms of, like, mortals, you know, mortal, you know, beings. And then you had, like, he had cultivated all these other warriors. The signs, the, um, like, you know, the Ginyu Force. And because of this weird power creep problem that Dragon Ball's been having, now it's just like, yeah, Earth is the top of the pile now. And, like, not only are we the top of the pile, but we're just, we're so far above everything else. And it's just like this little group of characters that we've been following. And then everything but that beneath them is garbage. Even, like, the weakest guys. Mm -hmm. Also, god damn it. These episodes started when I when I already know was the running gag of y'all to be like, man, I can't wait for them to invite me to this tournament. I get to show be all cool, and I'm like, you fucking invite the Mu Tenroshi and not Yamcha. Cause it's not like Yamcha's a bad fighter. It's not like he's. I want to see Yamcha Wolfbang fist a werewolf. I want to see Yamcha fist a werewolf. <laughs> I need to go Google some shit. Uh, it's it's there. I'm sure. I'll have to look up, look it up. Like you know, I've, I have seen every combination of fucking in the Dragon Ball. Like you know, but yeah. It's just there's no way in hell, uh, Yamcha fisting one of these werewolves from Universe. What was it? Nine or whatever doesn't exist. That has that has to be a thing. Uh. What a, oh! And if not, you could draw it crudely and tweet it at Xeon. Yes, at Xeon, which is actually at Dr. Agro. <laughs> at Dr. Agro is where you can find Hell Xeon's Twitter account. So go ahead and send all that to me at, do, or at, at Dr. Agro. Motherfucker, I tweeted that I like pineapple on pizza. I am not afraid of the internet. I don't mind. I need to continue packing my bags after this. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah, um, I did like, what was it, the, the one scene they had that one Kai scene. I forgot what fucking universe he's from. He, I, I, think he, I think he's from, like, the Sentai universe, basically. And uh, he's just like, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, God, the... 12, where he's just being a smug bastard? Uh, yeah, I guess, I, I guess it was, he, he was the one that got all the other... All the other gods instruction and Kai scene together. It's like, like let's like you know see if we can talk to them. this and all of them are like, fuck you, bro. Like we're gonna. It's like we're. All, it's like yeah, we're not gonna convince Zeno. We're just gonna. And then it's like like dick waving of who's gonna win. Like, we got all the power. And it's like we got all the smart ones. It's like, oh my. God. Let me say, hipster Kai scene is best Kai scene. By far, he is my favorite. Absolutely. He is just like the most adorable Kaioshin. I don't know. He's just I'm like, pretty sure he is just our Kaioshin in a pair of glasses. Like, he's, too, he's too cute to be our Kaioshin. This is his fucking escape plan. <laughs> he's doubling down, hedging his bets. He's uh, also in that robot from the other universe. Uh, also, um, 
Also, yeah, like, like hipster Kyrie seen his best. Kyrie also fuck what, I, what anyone says. Uh, braided braided hair lolly uh, angel is best angel. Yeah, she is the cutest. She is the most adorable. Like like pigtails is like the manic pixie dream girl fucking angel. You guys can have her braided braided lolly uh, friggin angel is the most adorable and the cutest. And like like honestly, I, I totally ship. Braided hair, um, angel, and hipster Kyoshin. Like, I want that. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I breed? Cause... I don't know. But if you'd like to draw a picture of one of them fisting the other and tweeting it at Sia. Yes. <laughs> at Dr. Agro on Twitter. <laughs> I know it's really confusing that, that the Hail Zia, that the official Hail Zia on Twitter is at Dr. Agro. But trust me, it is in fact, even though you will see his hairy mug, it's a big inside joke. Trust me, just tweet it at me, at, do, <laughs> at Dr. Agro. Uh, but yeah, I love how, like, the one who was trying to organize that, like, after everyone goes, man, fuck you, bro, we're going to win this tournament. He goes, man, like, I really wanted to save all these guys because I got the fucking Pride Troopers. I have the strongest, best team I'm going to win this. I was trying to give you guys a pity fuck here. Sorry. It's like, oh well. Guess I have to get, like... I love the fact that, like, like he was so... Like, the guy who clearly has, you know, statistically speaking, the best team. Who is the most confident. Like, everyone else is, like, worried and thinking, like, yeah, I think we can pull it through. This guy's just like, oh, man, I didn't want to have to end up killing all these guys. Fuck. And I like how his whole thing was just like, yeah, like, you know, we'll, we'll work with Zeno, like, try to get our mortal levels above seven, and, you know, just... Which I love the fact that mortal levels is... No, like, like how much life your universe has produced, and not, uh, the, like, the strength of your fighters. Which makes way more sense for someone like Zeno to care about. Like, he doesn't care about the strongest and the, like, the best disguise. You just, like, you have, like, have you cultivated culture... I need more soul energy to, like, eat Thetans from. <laughs> He's trying to resurrect Queen Beryl. <laughs> Not Queen Beryl, Queen Mahalania. Oh, wow. Yeah, because Queen Beryl was trying to resurrect Queen Mahalania. Yeah, oh, well, well, somebody needs to resurrect Queen Beryl. True. We need, we need to get that daisy chain going. We need to, like, get... get... So if you'd like to... <laughs> no! <laughs> With both Zenos. You know what? Yeah, never mind. Tweet that one to me at Hail Zion. Uh, <laughs> just, just get the Zenos double teaming Queen Barrel, please. <laughs> <sighs> I've jerked off the Stranger Things. I've also jerked off the things that aren't the Netflix series Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, oh. Uh, one of the weird things was this was, uh, Majin Buu, just, like, yeah, Majin Buu's been training, man, it's like, how long, why is he buff, I just, right? I, I feel like, like, maybe we missed a subtitle where they explained, what, cause, cause I feel like Majin Buu could just, like, shift in a, like, shift his body and morph his body, but, like, it seems like that now he's just buff, and he's just like, yeah, let's go, I'm like, what happened, what? Because, like, the reason he's fat is because he absorbed the Daikaioshin, who was fat. <laughs> like, 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 you know, like inside of his body, is there now like a tiny ripped, like, you know, Daikaioshin? Maybe he ain't Tia. <laughs> Why does it always have to be attention on who gets eaten? Because <laughs> he looks like he'd slide down real smooth with his bald head and round ass shoulders. Wouldn't the same thing apply to Kudurin? <laughs> I think there's a little bit of a uh, fanboy bias here. Uh, I think we exist in separate uh, but equally valid epistemological paradigms. I feel like I should hate you for that sentence, but I don't understand it. So I'm going to put that in the maybe go fuck aggro column for now, and we'll get back to that after this. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, he's just like fucking ripped now, and I'm just... Why? Why is he buff? And, like, and of course, we have to have the thing now, because I like how we have, like, what, like, 40 hours? Like, we have 40 hours to get this shit together. 
Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, get this guy, get this guy. But before he gets though, it's like, let me spar with you so I know how far you've gotten. It's just... Goku, you're on, like, like a timer here. You really need to, to get this shit going. Oh, my God. I just... I just remembered the most horrifying thing that happened in these episodes mm. that, for some reason, I forgot about. The birth. Or rather, the removal. Oh my god! Yeah, that was... Thank you, because I completely forgot about that! So we're clear, that infant is not Bra. We killed her and made a new baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean... That's... Because that's just so... What? Like... Because, I mean, we knew Bulma was close to giving birth, and, oh my god, that is, that shit was just horrific in context. Bulma was just fine with it. Yeah, no, she's like, oh, hey, my baby's here early. I didn't have to crank one of these things out of my fucking vagina. Dude, we <laughs> made a new baby, and mind control Bulma, because he just, he wants Vegeta in that tournament. Yeah, that's just... I like I was just like, you know, because Vegeta's just like, no, I'm not going to this tournament. This is like, the fuck you are. Da -da 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 -da. Click. There's your baby. Okay, you're going to be in this tournament now? Here's your baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, the thing is, though, Agro, it's, you know, whenever gods kill children and then give you new ones, I learned this from reading the Bible that it's perfectly okay, morally sound. That's why it was okay when it happened to Job. Job's kids got fucking murdered, but it's okay because God gave Job new kids. It's all alright, clean slate. I know because I read the Bible, and Wiss is a higher being. You can't argue with his divine wisdom. It's all okay. <laughs> This is an angel. Yeah, an emissary of God. Yeah. Not not a deity. When angels steal babies, uh -huh. uh, we generally call them demons. But there aren't demons in this universe. There are only slug people. No, no, we have we actually have like a whole demon realm. That's that's where it yeah, comes from. I keep hearing about it. Like like, actually, if you want to count Dragon Ball filler. Um, Goku goes to the demon realm at one point. Nice. There's a portal hub in Earth. I'm assuming that's where Dabber came from. He just kind of strolled on out of there. And then Bobbity was just like, you. Uh. But yeah, just... <laughs> I think he just fucking... He like basically disintegrated the baby that was inside of Boba, reconfigured it, like just alchemy that baby out of her, and then I think took... Like, probably the placenta, and then alchemy that into, a, like, a blanket. And um, no one's going to convince me that that's not what that baby rap was made out of. That is, that is alchemy uh, transmuted fucking placenta. Mm. And yeah. He just fucking alchemy a baby. Uh, and just, bam, there's Bra. There is Bra, and she exists now. Fuck, that was weird. I will say, though, it was really kind of cute, though, with uh, Bulma, like, on, like, the big ball, and she's just doing the, the stretches <laughs> with the Pilaf gang. I'm like, oh, Pilaf gang, you're here, and you're not intrusive, and you're not angering me. That's where you should stay, in that little zone. Just just be you, and don't, don't, don't distract from things anymore. Man. Super made me hate the Pilaf gang. They're pretty awful in it. Yeah! That is that is one of the things that will just... That bobbles my mind. And I went from going, I love the Pilaf gang. Every time the Pilaf gang has ever shown up, whether it be directly, except directly from the manga, or the filler, or their cameos in GT, I've always loved them. They've always been just... Like, they always came back at all the right points. Like, even the filler brought them in at, at very appropriate points to just, you know... You know, build jokes around or build a story around. And here, they're just, they're there to, like, make dumb, starving children jokes. Which, I mean, you know, the starvation of children 
always hilarious. Top tier co- comedy right there. Mm. I mean, you know, I watch I watch National Geographic's just for the lulls. But um But yeah, just uh the, the them in this fucking series. So fucking bad. So yeah, as long as I can just keep them like just kind of there, like being non intrusive. For cute little scenes, like the like the baby scenes, like you know, maybe them taking care of Bra in the background. That that'd be nice. Also, I love uh, Vegeta, like concerned dad Vegeta. Just should she be moving around like that? And he's just like, uh, she's like, she's like in my gravity chamber. <laughs> and he's just like, I'm gonna go train nearby. <laughs> it's just like I, I adore concerned dad. But honestly, this like. This is kind of how I've always kind of headcanoned Vegeta acting about his daughter being born. Now that he's a concerned family man. Because, like, you see him in GT with, uh, with Broad. Like, he's taking her out shopping and stuff. I'm like, yeah, no, that, that is the Vegeta arc of how you get from, you know, Vegeta, destroyer of worlds. And you follow that arc to, like, dad Vegeta, like, fucking taking his daughter uh, clothes shopping. It's... Good shit. I love it. I fucking adore every bit of that. Um, and of course, fucking Vegeta being waiting for someone to tell him to fucking hold bra. It was adorable. He's just like, <laughs> I, I like how he was like, is this some sort of like science thing? Like, <laughs> like is this some sort of? You know, he just you like assume he, somebody's going to present the baby at some point. Yeah, he's just like waiting and frustrated that it hasn't happened yet, and finally it happens, and he's just like. You know, he's just, like, holding it. Oh, God, it's so cute. Even though Bra's design is so fucking hideous. Like, that fucking... What the fuck is that? She had a turnip? I don't even... Absolutely. She's an above-ground radish. Yeah, there you go. No, no, that was, that was Goku's brother. 